guys, welcome back to another Building Kashyyyk weekly segment. Um, so guys, this week, getting right into it, um, this week we're going to just go over some few things that we uh, kind of want to touch up on, which of course is going to be the giant tree behind us, and as you can see, or uh, at least see a little bit, um, you'll see in the later video in, in greater detail, but uh, there has been some pretty good progress made over that um, over the last week. Um, we go over uh, some, I, I went ahead and tried to do a couple more designs of the uh, the things the Wookiees are in, I guess they're little huts or whatever they you would call them that hang from the trees or hang from, uh, from mountains or whatever you want to call it. Um, so I tried another design of that and the last thing is we're just going to look at some blending, color blending between um, bright colors to dark colors, how you want to blend colors when you're layering, layering that. Um, so you know some pretty decent things that we go into nothing too major uh, and you know building wise made over the last week only because i was on spring break and i had just gotten back um thursday and this video is coming up on friday so i only had thursday one day out of the entire week to work on this um so the amount of progress i was able to make was pretty decent um we're gonna go into some fast motion stuff you know where i speed up the camera and you guys can watch how i build stuff so got that back i know a lot of you wanted to see that again uh, especially with the tree so really cool that we're bringing that back um but really that that's pretty much it um nothing more to go on to that other than just go right into the video so without ado guys let's see what i got i got to show you because you know it's pretty cool stuff let's get going right now all right guys so getting right into the video um I read some comments last week, and what I noticed is a lot of you actually wanted to see uh, the progress of the tree being built. Um, so while I was building it, a fast forward, some, uh, I saw a pretty decent amount of people wanted to see that, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, hopefully I build enough uh, in the time frame that my camera doesn't die or run out of uh, recording time. We'll see. Um, but. I'm going to try to build a, a pretty good amount, and uh, you can watch and see how it's built. So uh, we'll just go from there, and then after the video, we'll take a look and see how much I built. Um, so just think about it, I guess. Um, it's about, going to be about an hour's worth of uh, time. Uh, so pretty cool. Alright, let's go ahead and get started right now.
Alright guys, so uh, sorry about the fast motion thing or the speed building kind of ended there at the end. Uh, my camera ran out of battery, but um, uh, here is the finished product. And uh, I have to say, looking very cool. So again, some more height. Move this out of the way. Some more height has definitely been added on to it. Um, I think we were last building right about here so all of this up here um, however I shouldn't say here because there are other lower parts so probably considering the entire thing probably got this much up and um, yeah so pretty good progress now over here I wanted I'm not I'm not sure if this is permanent or not this this right here but I really wanted to show you the how the limbs are going to look around it. And it's going to look like this pretty much all the way around it, um, the tree. Um, except these two ends, this part and this part, are going to have longer limbs. Or it might be the opposite, I don't know. The, depending on what I want to do. Are going to have longer limbs extending that way and that way. But, you know, just, just seeing these little bit of tree right here I think looks really great on the on 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 it and it's starting to look really like a Kashyyyk tree and you know, here's the picture we have here um, you can definitely see what's uh, going on and everything you can definitely see all that details that's that's you know it, if you were looking at the fast motion you could see you know, a lot of work is just you know looking and kind of experimenting with this area making sure it uh, it all works now right here as you can see I have reached the point where I can no longer um, keep this up. So the original hole that we had going through the entire tree is now um, completely, you know, it, it's reached its end on the end of this. So I've started a new one, but, you know, we're almost getting to the point where we ha we're starting the tree or the limbs. But, you know, you got to consider this is going to come over and go down again. So this is the second hole, the new one right here, will have a pretty decent distance up. Now this right here, this this entire section, this is different. This is, uh, you know, just basically what this is. But this may not be permanent, depending. I might want to push it up like another, maybe two bricks, and then put this up. So this would go up. Uh, we'll just say uh, take it up two more bricks like that, and then uh, put this back down. Um, but we're almost to the point where we're starting to put the limbs on now as you can see over here I kind of left this area a little bit I didn't build it all the way up to the height right here the reason why I did that is I want to show you kind of a uh, an inside look of what it kind of looks like um, while I'm building it because um, you couldn't really see this angle during the fast motion so I wanted to show you this and you can kind of see the guts of it of the tree, you know what it looks like on the inside, and see how it's it's really being built and whatnot. You know, just just that one one limb of tree um, coming off this entire thing really looks cool. And if you if you have the imagination, you can kind of see what that's going to look like all the way around this and. I think it's going to look really great. Um, you know, the tree itself, in my opinion, really happy with it. I couldn't couldn't ask a better job. It looks extremely cool. Um, it, you know, it's definitely really big. I mean, got a little minifigure right there. Sorry for the kind of shaky, but when you zoom the camera, it kind of tends to shake a little more because you're, uh, you know, distance and all that one fun stuff. But anyhow, as you can see, a minifigure compared to it, it's really big. Obviously, still, even in the movies, you know, these things are humongous. But, you know, for this for this mock in particular, this is fitting pretty well. So I'm really happy with the way it's looking. Um, I think the tree limbs, I think a lot of you like the tree limbs. Um, I, th I thought a lot of you would like that. Um, yeah. And here's an angle of the back. So you guys didn't really see this. Um, but anyhow, that is the tree. Very cool, good progress made. Not too much in height, but more around it. I would say around it. Um, 
But again, you know, this thing is so strong, I could literally probably stand on it. Um, really, really, really sturdy. Like, really sturdy. There's a good punch right there. Um, and, and this thing is staying pretty, um, pretty, you know, together. So I'm pretty happy with the building and it, it, it's looking great. So I can't wait till next week when we, uh, continue putting the limbs around and building it a little more up and uh, I'm sure it'll look even better then. So yeah. All right, guys, we'll go ahead and continue into other things. So uh, in the beginning of the video, I talked about color, um, layering and stuff like that. So, you know, we, we're going from the water to the dark tan to the light tan, light tan again here. And uh, here is what I've come up with. Um, you know, we have this, you can't really see it because all these Lego pieces right here, but we have this awkward sort of line, just really, you know, line of when the plates meet each other. And we need a blending over here. Um, and so this is what I've come up with. Kind of uh, something I kind of threw together, but I think it looks pretty good. I'm um, sorry, this this right here decided to come off. Cool. All right, anyhow, so what I have going on here is it's meeting the dark tan again. Um, you're having a you're having a color between the tan and this olive green color, which is going to be the dark tan. So it's starting to get um, darker, and then it's starting to turn greenish, and it's going to more of a a mixed light green. That's hitting um, the lighter brown, which goes into the darker ground, which uh, kind of mixes together with the green. Um, I guess you could say the sand green goes pretty well with the green. So it's a really, if you just look like look at this right here, you know, from here to here, it's a pretty good blend uh, of colors. If I take this green and I put it right next to this tan right here, that's your color blend. Looks very bad. You gotta slowly go into um, different colors into uh, you, you can just look at a color wheel to understand what I'm talking about but going from lighter to darker to darker to lighter to darker to light it, it's yeah you know, I took a graphics class I kind of remember I don't remember the correct terms but um, it all connect interconnects each other with that type of stuff so that's what I've got um, it's gonna require a lot of Lego pieces I'll tell you that but um, that is what I got. I think it looks pretty good, and I'm going to continue it, you know, all the way down and throughout there. So that'll be kind of cool. Um, I have a lot of this olive green color. It seems to be a very popular color among among Lego builders. So I'm glad I'm able to use it in this mock. And the other thing we're going to talk about before we end off the video, guys, is I went ahead and did another prototype. Um, I'm kind of happy, I like the idea of using these arches and, and doing kind of a triangle thing and then kind of making it a circle roof and a circle base with this kind of triangle structure. The problem is getting the circle roof is a bit hard as you can see this is this looks like an egg almost. <laughs> um, so I think I'm going to go back to the drawing board with trying to get the circle. Um, I don't know, I'll figure out something but right now this is probably not the way I want it to look. Plus. I feel like this uh, right here is too high, but the reason why I did that is I thought, um, example is get this over here, get this, um, I thought it would kind of look like this around it, that I could probably do that, but I don't think that'll work too well, uh, it might, and kind of see what I had in mind, um, but I don't know. I'll go back to the drawing board, see if I can do something better, but again, another prototype design. Looks sort of cool, but can't really be utilized for anything at the moment. Um, but yeah. And that'll go on like pretty much a circular base, not as big as this, but like this over here. So put it together. So something around that line, except not as big. Um, but yeah. Well, guys, uh, that's all I got to show this time. Um, not as much as I wanted to show, but I have my reasons why I wasn't able to get as much um, done. So we went over some, uh, you know, this right here, which actually is kind of important. It's a really good detail. And another thing is, 
you can see how I'm going to introduce plants uh, where this all this dark green is going to have a lot of plants go, covering it. And I chose dark green over brown is because I think the dark green really looks a lot cooler. Just, you know, for fun facts, it might not be accurate, but it certainly looks really cool and, and utilizes with the plants pretty well. Um, and then another thing you might notice is, and I have some tiles in here. Got these sand green tiles, kind of using utilizing some tiles in this blending thing as as well. Um, I gotta make sure this sticks down better. I'll fix that later. But anyhow, that's all I got to show this time, guys. So let's go ahead and end off the video. All right, guys. So um, that was pretty much uh, what I had to show. You know, we went into the uh, the tree, um, the color blending, and uh, you know, prototype designs. Uh, everything else hadn't really been touched on. A um, couple reasons. Uh, I'm still waiting on, I ordered like uh, these uh, 2x8 bricks and it's what I use for the tree mostly. Um, uh, that and 2x4 bricks to keep it pretty, you know, when you're extending something over, when you're, you know, when you build something up and you want to take it sideways, you need longer Lego pieces because then otherwise it's going to break easily or on the part where it has excuse me it has no um support at so you have to use beams basically when you're building a house you have these large beams across the house where support necessarily is not there same thing goes with lego building um so it, it's an important thing that you, that you do think about and uh i i ordered like 200 300 and that's a lot of, you know brick that's this big you know a couple hundred is a lot in that size um so that's still i'm still waiting on that to come and hopefully that'll come in soon because that will allow me to build the mountain behind you know the giant mountain the, the gray mountains that are gonna basically be the backdrop of what's behind me um so until i can get those that's why the mountains weren't really touched on this week um same thing with the tree but i was able to kind of mess around with that because i had some other bricks laying around that i was able to take off um so yeah, anyhow, uh, the color blending was pretty cool. I think we uh, we did a pretty good job touching on that. Hopefully I'll actually extend that, you know, start making, uh, pushing that around the mock. If you guys have any other like questions on that or ideas, you know, I'm open for that because it was kind of just a thrown together type of thing for that. But I kind of like the way it came out to be. So just let me know uh, on your thoughts on that. Um, and then another thing is when we were looking at color blending, you could see all the plants um, off to the side and that, you know, when we get into the dark green now you can see the plants um so what i'm actually going to do is i'm probably going to make little trails in and out to like the kashik wall by the way i am uh, keeping the kashik wall a lot of you wanted to keep it some of you suggested uh blending the kashik wall with a not as big tree but sort of like a mini tree might take that idea into consideration pretty good idea actually so thanks to everybody who suggested that um but yeah so you you know you can see that i'm going to have a lot of evergreens and and plants everywhere. Well, I'm gonna make little trails for the you know, troopers to walk down because um, I can have clone troopers and Wookiees, you know, walk into the all the, the debris, but it wouldn't make sense because that, you know, I don't know. I just think little trails would be kind of cool. Maybe it would make sense if it was all plants because you know, I don't know. Just 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 a thought. Maybe I won't do that now. I think about it. So just let me know if you think it's a cool idea or not. I think it's a cool idea, but that's just me. Um, your guys' opinion actually re really does help um, when I'm doing this stuff. I go through the comments and they're like, all right, what's everybody else saying? I, I have my opinion, but it only helps so much. Um, having thousands of feed, uh, you know, literally thousands of fans' feedback, so helpful a lot of times when I'm like, I don't know what to do. Um, but yeah. All right, well, guys, that's, uh, that's all we got this week. I know it isn't as much as I wanted to do, obviously, but, you know, our limitations, bricks haven't come in yet. And um, I had my spring break and I was out in Tennessee for pretty much the entire week. So you can't can't really build Legos when you're you know, 200 miles away from your house. Actually 300. Um, but yeah. Uh, last reminder guys, Philly Brickfest is going to be uh, next weekend. And there will not... Uh, I, want, I, I would say there is going to be a building sheep. We'll see. If, uh, if there isn't a building sheep next week, there will be an uh, announcement video about that. But I'm pretty sure I'll be able to upload it while I make it before I leave. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but yeah. So that's going to do it, guys. Stay tuned to the channel. If there is not a building sheep because I'm off at a convention, 
uh, Philly Breakfast, which is next weekend. Go check it out, phillybreakfast.com. And yeah, if I'm not there, then, uh, or if there's not a video, then uh, I'll make an announcement about that. If there is, then it'll be a usual schedule. We'll just see what happens. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you very much for listening to me just babble on. Um, I know, um, again, not too much, but hey, got to deal with it, got to deal with Thank you guys for listening. You guys have a great and wonderful day. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe and share this video. Bye-bye.